foot 24. Brett Greer is again sitting atop the championship standings after moving up from the Pro Late Model Division that he ran during last year's World Series. Brett Greer is coming to the white flag for the first time. 17.883 for Brent Cruz, number 24, the point leader. Brent Cruz, and a Cruz off to number four here. Looking for the checkers, going to pick up. That's his 46. Goes 17.811, so he picks up on lap number two. Brent Cruz setting the bar high here. It's the first car to qualify. Next out will be the veteran racer in car number 112, Steve Weaver, Jr., in the race sample electric sign masters weaver racing enterprises machine officially 140 starts for this driver during the world series and many many other starts throughout the years in super late model competition take the green flag. he has finishes this week of 30th 31st and unfortunately did not qualify for last night's clyde hart memorial <laughs> weaver like i said a veteran racer he is here because he's a race fan he comes here with his brother, and they enter cars in the field, but they're just here to So this team knows where they're at. I like to just come out and have a little bit of fun, and sometimes, especially on these midweek races where the counts might go down just a little bit, you never know. These guys could luck into a nice top 10, maybe top five finish, steal the weekend from them. But Steve Weaver Jr. in the second position. The car number 54A, the pick number 54. has been driven by Amy Catalano the first couple of nights. Trevor Catalano behind the wheel here tonight. So the Catalano has been a couple of late models to play during the World Series alongside their tour modified efforts. And uh, Trevor is going to get the nod at the keyboard here today for his first game. is out for Trevor Catalano. And Amy drove this machine the first couple of nights, and they're uh, kind of shared amongst the family here for the rest of the week. And we'll see what Trevor can do. Jason Brent Cruz, the point leader right now. First lap will go in the books. 18.622, 18.622. For Catalano, we'll put him second on the board. Second quick for the Trevor Catalano 54. Trevor Catalano now coming off of turn number four. This time will be an 18.444, 18.444, second fastest for Trevor Catalano. Our number 11, David Weaver, teammate to the Steve Weaver Jr. machine that we just saw out on the speedway. This is David's first year driving the Super Lake. We're so used to seeing him in pro late competition. They decided to drop a new loader in this machine and step up a class. And two starts this week, a 33rd and a 36th. We'll get better results here tonight. Did not run the ASA race, did not attempt to qualify for that event. Sent that one out, but they should be in the field here the rest of the week. David Weaver stole the show out here in the Pro Late Model Competition a couple of years ago. Got a podium finish. And it's a 19384 for David Weaver. So he'll be fourth on the board after lap number one. Struggled there through one and two. And we'll see if he can pick up on his second lap here. Typically, you want to see a pick up in times on lap number two. And a little bit of a pick up there, 19.228. 19.228 for David Weaver. We'll keep him fourth on the board. Ty Fredrickson, our next qualifier, and come up with 36. That was uh, in that mid-pack fracas last night. Towards the end of the second stage of that race, he got knocked around a little bit and had a really good week going with the 17th and 12th. And then last night it was 21st in the Clyde Hart Memorial, but he's made all three starts. This young driver out of Northfield, Minnesota. Sponsor this week by Herman's Landscape Supplies, MRF, and Fredrickson Farms. Ty Fredrickson in the 36 machine, picking up where his father Dan led, left off. Looking sporty, should have a pretty good luck. And an 18.172 that'll move him to second on the board, second quick for the young 14 year old. 
Ty Fredrickson, one of those young up and coming drivers getting his first taste of the World Series and doing a great job. And he picks up to 18.025, 18025. Second fastest for Ty Fredrickson. Here's a driver I think we're gonna hear a lot from for the rest of the World Series in car number 26 on both Pro Lake and Super Lake. This is of course the Rackley roofing machine for car number 25 with Dawson Sutton out of Lebanon, Tennessee. Rackley Roofing, Willie Allen Racing. Hoping the efforts for this team this week. Three in a row on the Pro Lake model side of things. Still trying to get it figured out on the Super Lake. for the Dawson Sutton car. A sixth on night number one, then a 14th and a 24th place finish when he met the concrete here right at the start finish line in a mid-race scuffle with Jeff Chiquette. White flag will come out this time. And that's a great lap, 17.991, second fastest for Dawson Sutton as he goes up the hill a little bit in turn number one. Dawson Sutton, 17.991. Looking to beat a 17.811. So he's got to pick up more than a tenth here if he's going to go to the top of the board. And 17.993, very consistent, actually slows down to one hundredths of a second, to one thousandth of a second there. Mitch Hammer in car number seven will be our next qualifier, another one of those Midwest drivers. And uh, so far, it's been an okay World Series for Mitch, a 16th and 18th, and unfortunately did not qualify for the, Hart, or the uh, Clyde Hart Memorial 200 last night. In Indiana, the Progress Manufacturing sponsored car. Mitch came out, ran the Pro Late Model World Series last year, has moved up to the Super Late Model ranks. And several drivers have taken that course here this year. And Mitch, again, he's having a respectable week. For that Progress Manufacturing number seven. 18 at 3 2 1 there for Mitch, fourth fastest on that first lap, so not a bad time. And some of these drivers that have stayed here this week and to use the rest of the week for track time experience and confidence boost. An 18 156, good second lap there for Mitch. He picks up a little bit, will remain fourth on the scoreboard. Danny Knoll Jr., another one of those drivers. Unfortunately, the last. That car was involved in a late practice crash on Monday night, final practice for the ASA Stars National Tour 200. Danny Knoll, we've seen him compete in the Tour Modified division now here in a car that looked just like this. They just put some fenders on the machine and let it rip. Yeah, that's how that works. Two starts on the week for Danny Knoll, a 28th and a 22nd. He looks to best that here tonight. If he can make the starting grid. So far, so good for car number 17. And I appreciate the work this team has put in over the last 48 hours to get this car race ready once again, because not a good time. There's a white flag there in 18.704. For number 17, Danny Noll Jr. will be sixth there on that first lap. And he'll look to pick up more here on lap number two. Danny Noll Jr., number 17. Is Five seven one, sixth quick for car number 17. Connor Jones, fast time yesterday. The Clyde Hart Memorial 200 in the Jones Utilities number 44. This is our Pro Late Model Champion from last year. And it's been a good start to his World Series. Last night uh, did not finish where he wanted to, but ran well, had the speed at least in the short run. A third. Let's see here, fifth, seventh, and 13th. So very respectable super late model outing for number 44, Connor Jones. Actually fifth in the point standing, should jump up a couple of spots here tonight with a good run. A couple of those top point drivers are no longer running at the week. Into that 17 second bracket. I think if you're gonna be one of the competitive cars tonight, you've gotta be at least in that 17 second bracket. Jones is just barely in there on lap one. We'll see if he picks up on lap number two. Check it out. Across the line. 17 9 1 2 will put him second on the boards. So last night's fast qualifier will be second for the time being. This one, the 54 for Tommy Catalano, as he will make his third start of the week. 
a 19th, a 20th so far for the Brainerd Transport XF, FX Caprera sponsored ride. Did not qualify, missed out by two spots. But a valiant effort for this team. Again, this family, so famous in the modified ranks, trying out the Super Lates the last couple of years here at the World Series and uh, getting better with it, for sure. And Tommy, looking to have a good run here tonight. Could break into the top 10. Three for Tommy Catalano, seventh fastest there on lap number one. So he'll look to pick up here. So we're about halfway through the Super Late Model qualifying session. There are a couple of drivers I, I see on the list here that are not going to take qualifying time. They'll tag the rear of the field for the feature. Catalano, an 18.441. He'll stay seventh on the board, just a slight pickup on lap number two. Nicholas Noggle in car 08, looking to get back towards the front here tonight. In this Brycon sponsored machine, driver out of Nova Scotia, Canada. Nicholas has had an okay World Series. Fourth on night number one after contending for a win, got shuffled back late. A 16th and a 9th. To make the field last night for some of these guys was like a victory. And Nicholas looking to get back into the top five here tonight, maybe contend for the win once again. Nicholas Noggle, a veteran of the World Series has decided to just focus on the super late model so far this week. The winner of that class, 18.092, fifth quick on lap number one, just on the outside of that 17 second bracket. He'll look to pick up, maybe jump up the spot or two on the scoreboard here. He's gotta beat a 17.811 for the top spot. We'll see if we can do that. Nicholas Novel coming down to Six, one. A slight pick up there on that second lap, but he'll stay fifth on the scoreboard. Nine for the points. Now we have our eighth place point man, Gus Dean, out on the speedway. Gus Dean, a winner a couple of nights ago, last time they raced and dominating. Found him beat a field of 35 cars that took the green flag that night for his first ever World Series Super Late Model win. Seven. First on night two, did not race the Clyde Hart Memorial, did not attempt that event, so focusing on these regular events in the CLP Motorsports Dean Custom Air Sponsored Car. So number 57, Gustine, our most an 18.096 for Gustine, sixth fastest. But I wouldn't put too much into his qualifying time, because we saw once this car got in the race trim, it was a rocket ship, especially if you can hit the invert once again, to be up towards the front. Gus Dean. 17905, second fastest for Gus Dean. Forget what I said. They've got speed regardless of whether it's qualifying or impressive this week. Driver looking to get back on track. A driver we expected to be one of the top 10 competitors. Brad May in car number nine out of Blue Vito, Florida, will be our next qualifier. 27th with a failure on night one. 10th on night two and 25th for this number nine team for Bobby Sears Racing. Uh, uncharacteristic for this team, to say the least. So hopefully tonight they can get off the snide and get some good runs for the end of the week. Our defending Super Late Model Track Champion in the Arcade Roots Incorporated number nine. And 18.062 for Brad May is seventh right now. We'll see if he can pick up a lot number two. So a big pickup for Gus Dean on lap number two. We'll see if Brad May can do the same. Looks like five drivers to go, including Brad May here as he'll complete his run. Brad May. And he picks up nicely, 17.946, up to four. It's good to see Carmen Lyon on the scoreboard for now. As I say that, here comes car number 22 for Giovanni Ruggiero. Second place point man, already a win here. Ruggiero on his warm-up lap. What a great World Series it's been. Three top five finishes and three starts. A first on night one, third on night two, and a top five in that star-studded ASA Clyde Hart Memorial yesterday evening. Jira Jira definitely won the championship. The right side of that car had some battle scars on it last night. He and his teammate, Brent Cruz, were in a dogfight for fifth place. And you wonder why the teammates racing so hard. They're racing for the championship, and they are not going to give an inch. Throw teammates out the window. So this car looking a little bit back up for the rest of the week, and it's quick. 17.974. 17.974. Fifth fastest for the 22. 
first auto group machine out of the Donnie Wilson Racing Stables. Four cars to start the week. They're gonna have two to finish the week off. Checkered flag is out. And he is a 17.853. He will jump up the second right behind his teammate. Brent Cruz continuing to lead the way as he was the first car out tonight. And we will see now car number 23 for Billy Van Meter involved in one of the incidents last night with Derek Griffith and uh, and he really set Derek off. I've seen the in-car video. It was a pretty wild ride for Derek Griffith and uh, he was none too happy. And Griffith is one of the more level-headed competitors so to make him But Van Meter looking to shake that off. They've dusted off the backup car. This machine, if it's the same one they ran with Red Eye, it's the same paint scheme anyway. It finished in third place. So if he can get things figured out tonight, could be in line for another good run. So Van Meter in this 23. Leads lap number one at 18.249. A 10th, a 15th, and a 27th for Billy Van Meter in the Circle City Raceway machine. So 10th fastest for Billy Van Meter. And a nice pickup there, 18.014 for Van Meter. Going to put him a respectable seventh on the clock. Getting down to it, final two up. Still in the house in car number nine. He'll be the next driver on track here tonight. One of three number nines that should take the green flag tonight. Uh, good World Series so far for this youngster. 13th, 8th, and 12th for the Shockwave Marine suspension seating sponsored car. Stratford, Wisconsin. Full-time truck series competitor a couple of years ago. Ran for college racing the Xfinity Series a bit last year. Still has aspirations to run more in the upper national series of NASCAR. Just got some 17.930. Good lap bit for Derek Krause. He's fifth on the board. Fifth place for Derek Krause on lap one. He's the penultimate qualifier here tonight as he comes through, turns three and four. Another beautiful sunset here at New Smyrna. And top of the board for Derek Kraus with a 17.783. What a lot for Derek Kraus. 17.783 is our final qualifier. Gabe Somers hits the speedway. Heartbreak for him yesterday in qualifying. Was not able to get this machine to fire. Didn't take time, was unable to race the last chance qualifier, and did not qualify for that big heart to heart. Sorry, quite hard to hard. Heart to heart's coming up on Friday. This is the Maristem Crop Performance Farmer Promise Redline sponsored car. The 11th and 29th to start his World Series in the DNQ yesterday. So looking to get off the snide here tonight. 17.973 for Gabe Somers. We put him seventh on the board. What I like is even though we've trimmed the field down to normal World Series levels here, it's still a very competitive field to put on one heck of a show for us here tonight. We'll see if Gabe Somers And a 17.881, and he'll do just that. Fourth quick for Gabe Somers, and that means Derek Krause in car number nine is our unofficial fast time qualifier to 17.783. Brent Cruz will qualify in second, clocking in at 17.811. Giovanni Ruggiero will qualify in third at 17.853. Gabe Somers just off the track now with a 17.881. Gus Dean, winner a couple nights ago, clocks in at 17.904 to round out the top five. In sixth, it was Connor Jones, last night's pole sitter. Brad May came home in seventh. In eighth is Dawson Sutton, Billy Van Meter ninth. Ty Fredrickson in 10th. The rest of the field is Nicholas Noggle in 11th, Mitch Haver in 12th, Tommy Catalano 13th, Trevor Catalano 14th, followed by Danny Nolan 15th, Steve Weaver Jr. 16th, David Weaver in 17th. We have a handful of other drivers that did not take time. We expect three, maybe four cars to tag to the rear of the field here tonight for the main event. So that completes our first round of qualifying for the David Rogers Super Lates as they continue their World Series battle tonight. We'll turn things over to the voice of the Tour Modifieds, Mr. Ben Dodge, to call Tour Modified Qualifying coming up next. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now.